Uh, so I've been a teaching in schools for about four or five years now, uh, but prior to that I've kind of been in education in different forms, so uh, teaching in outdoor study centres, things like that, uh, teaching at university as well. So probably I've been teaching for about seven or eight years, but actual a teacher just four or five years here. Um, yeah, so I, started, I was doing, um, I was partly through a PhD, um, I thought that's what I wanted to do, be a researcher and uh, I realised reading and writing weren't my uh, favourite things and that's where you head. So uh, that was a point that I needed to make a choice and I was actually teaching undergraduates at that point. I really enjoyed it, I was like well I'll give it a go. So yeah, then went to teach in outdoor study centres where I was teaching geology, ecology um, and then kind of moved my way across into mainstream schools um, over time. So yeah, bit by bit I found my, my way here. <laughs> no, I, li I like outdoorsy uh, subjects. I'm a kind of scientist at heart, uh, studied geology at university. Uh, I have been involved in um, animal sciences and things like that for a little while, uh, but then I've kind of headed more and more back towards the uh, geology side of things. So yeah, I've kind of gone around, sampled all the different areas and come back to geology. Yeah, um, I guess you don't often think of him as a geology hero, but David Attenborough is actually really into his geology and he doesn't talk about it much, uh, but he's um, he's kind of like kind of classic, found rocks in the river, wrote them out and found fossils, started a fossil collection, um, which yeah, I think a lot of geologists follow the same footsteps of being fossil hunters when the kids and kind of carries on through. Um, so yeah, I think someone like David Attenborough, which yeah, it's, it's funny he doesn't promote it more. Um, you can find a few videos on it on uh, YouTube and you can actually see how excited he is about it. He's got some of his own fossils and he's talking about them and uh, yeah, he did a nice series which was um, about the beginnings of life uh, where he's talking about species of fossils that were found in rocks near where he used to live. And he was uh, saying how he never went there because no one, everyone knew there was no fossils there and then years, a couple of years later someone found a fossil there and lo and behold there's hundreds of fossils in the yeah, it's interesting. It's got a good, a good take on geology, I think. Um, I reckon Giant's Causeway's got to be up there. Um, I've never been there. I know it's amazing. I know um, my wife's been there, so that's almost like taunting me as well. It's, uh, <laughs> it's one of those like you, you see pictures of it, you read about it, but I think until you actually see all these columns of, uh, of um, rocks and things, I, think you, I just don't think you can imagine it as well as uh, you can see it. Probably like a good example is um, the Grand Canyon. That's the other way around. In that uh, I have been there, and just the pictures and the description—you just can't describe how big and vast it is. And that's a, a river that's done that, and it's amazing to um, try and explain it. But until you go there, you can't really understand how huge it is. It's, yeah.